<laughs> well, I'm here in the woods again today, and I'm just telling you, I, golly, God is just good to me in, in ways that I don't really know how to describe. So I'll go back and I'll tell you how this all came to be. So first thing, Charlie shot a buck in October, Jet, he shot Jet. And I, um, I just knew that that deer was dead. It, we got a mule kick on camera. And last Friday we went hunting and we were trying to, uh, we were about to get on a buck and this buck spooked for no daggum reason and he left. So Charlie was about to shoot his second buck this year cause he shot, you know, he, he did wind up shooting um, the West Side Nine. Well, so I'll get to what's, what's going on here today. This is just nuts. I wound up watching some drone footage I found uh, some buzzards. I flew above and found some buzzards and I wound up for sure knowing that I felt like the deer was dead. G come to find out, I went back and watched it after I found Jet. I saw the deer on the actual drone footage. So we I found Jet, Jet's at the house right now. Super exciting. It got me thinking. So way back in 2018, um, I was hunting on my birthday and I shot a buck came out and I shot him with a 30 out six. And that wound up being the t roughest year I've had ever in this little streak we've had. Um, so wound up, I literally, you could see meat knocked off of him. You could see uh, some, some of his brisket, but I knew there was no way that, that, that I missed him. I knew, well, I knew it had missed him, but I just felt like that deer was dead. Well, I didn't know Scott Lopez then. I didn't know any of that kind of stuff. So I got a dog that was kind of training and, the, and it was like two days after. So, I mean, we gave it a good shot, but I, I just couldn't find him. I couldn't find any blood or anything, but I've always, I know that you can relate if you've got a deer that in your heart, you know that is dead, you just couldn't find him. And that, that's me. But I came uh, back today, something just has been tugging at me to come back in here because where we found jet is an area i've never looked at and so i walked in here and i found now three dead deer they were all does or one i didn't find a head for but then i just came on a bone in an area that i've kind of gotten off the beaten path here i found a bone and um i said okay it's, there's got to be something close to here because i keep finding bones and uh, this looks like another skull right here. Yeah, so it could just be this doggone doe skull that I just found. It could just be her that led me to him. But the bones were right over there, about 20 yards, and I looked to the left, and it's just like the Lord had me here at the right time because I saw some antlers sticking up, some nice antlers in this little sun patch right here. And I come over here, and the first thing I said, I said, before I look at this, do not claim this if this ain't the deer. This is just a cool deadhead find unless you know it's him. So before I even pick those antlers up, I pull the dang trail camera pictures up and you, I just remember the left brow was bigger. At the time in 2018, this would have been one of my biggest deer for sure. And would you look at this guy? How crazy the brow, I know that I've already shown you a trail camera picture, but this is the big eight. That was his name that year. I didn't. I think we named him the Big Eight because I wasn't really into this stuff yet. 2020 is when we started YouTube. This was 2018, a year that I killed my first deer, November 15th, and my second one. How crazy is that? This is December the 15th. This is the day that I tagged out five years ago. I'm here with the Big Eight. Now, since then, I've killed some some substantially bigger deer, but. As far as my Zell deer go, this joker is right up there. I'm so excited, man. I can't even tell you. Nobody's going to believe this. You can see but, right here the brows. That's the that's the telltale sign. I'm trying to get it on something dark that you can see. The brows right there. Um, the left one being taller. It's just an, it's incredible, man. So I'm thankful. Uh, these woods are... I have no dead deer out there that I have to go find anymore. They're here. We've got them all. So I'm thankful. Thank you, Lord, you've blessed me in ways, but it's something like I had a tugging on me to come out here. So that's what I did. I found a, an old shed and I found two doe skulls and we found several leg bones and stuff. It's just cool. You know, this is a, the way that we do things out here is we leave them alone in their bedding and I never, I'm always, I always almost don't even go in there 
to look for them after we shoot them. But here we are with the big eight. I, I don't know if any of this will make a video, but how incredible is this? Uh, thank you, Lord. I'm so thankful.